U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris has secured enough votes of Democratic delegates to win the party's nomination for president, the Democratic National Committee Chair Jamie Harrison announced on Friday. The announcement came during the virtual call with supporters. I am honored to be the presumptive Democratic nominee for President of the United States, Harris said during the call. I will officially accept your nomination next week, once the virtual voting period is closed. But already I'm happy to know that we have enough delegates to secure the nomination, and later this month, we will gather in Chicago, united as one party, where we're going to have an opportunity to celebrate this historic moment together. Harrison marked the historic nature of Harris clinching the nomination. Today, my friends, is special because we can proudly say we will have the first woman of color at the top of a major party ticket," he said. Democratic delegates started casting virtual ballots for the nomination Thursday. Kamala Harris told supporters that, we are going to win this election and that it will, take all of us. The Russian army has begun using the North Korean Bulsai-4 long-range self-propelled anti-tank missile system against Ukraine, according to Militani. The Bulsai-4 is capable of hitting a target beyond the line of sight, i.e. at a distance of more than 10 kilometers. There is no precise data on the characteristics of the North Korean weapons, however, according to some sources, the range of destruction is in the range of 10 to 25 kilometers, which allows for an attack from a safe distance. The launcher consists of a rotating module of eight containers with missiles. The guided missile is equipped with large stabilizers and a mode of attacking the target from above. To guide the missile, an electro-optical head is used on the missile in combination with command guidance via fiber optic cable. This allows the system operator to manually control the missile via video. During the missile's flight, he sees all the folds of the terrain and all the objects. He can bypass obstacles and hit the target beyond the line of sight or even behind cover. Militani reports, constant video contact allows the system operator to change the target for the missile to a higher priority. Vitali Sarantsev, the spokesperson for the operational tactical group Kharkiv, said that he could not confirm the information about the use of Bulsay-4 missile systems by Russia. At the moment, we do not record either the arrival of this equipment or any facts of its use, he emphasized. North Korea is actively supporting Russia in its war against Ukraine. For example, North Korea sent more than one million artillery shells to its partner. In addition, Russia has also used North Korean missiles in its shelling of Ukraine. Recently, Russia and North Korea signed a comprehensive strategic partnership agreement. This agreement may include, among other things, the possibility of sending North Korean troops to Ukraine as well as mutual assistance in the event of aggression against one of these countries. The Supreme Leader of Iran, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, has ordered a direct strike against Israel. This is Iran's response to the assassination of Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran, the New York Times reports. Three unnamed Iranian officials told the news agency that Khamenei's order came during a meeting of the Supreme National Security Council of Iran. The New York Times sources specified that the Iranian military command is considering the possibility of another combined attack with drones and missiles on military targets around Tel Aviv and Haifa. Iran will attempt to avoid strikes on civilian targets. The sources also clarified that this could be a coordinated attack by Iran and its allied forces in Yemen, Syria and Iraq. It is likely referring to militants supported by Tehran. According to the unnamed officials, Khamenei has instructed military commanders to prepare plans for both an offensive and defensive scenario in case of an escalation of the war and a potential strike by Israel or the United States against Iran.
Israel has not commented on the incident, which came amid its war with the Hamas terror group in the Gaza Strip and hours after an Israeli strike in Beirut killed the top military commander of fellow Iran-backed Hezbollah. With Israel on high alert for a possible response, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warned in an address to the nation that challenging days are ahead, but vowed the country was ready for every scenario and will exact a very heavy price for any aggression against us. He did not mention Haniyeh. On July the 31st, it became known that Tehran was struck by a missile attack. As a result, Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh and one of his bodyguards were killed. Iran immediately blamed Israel for the attack. However, Israeli officials have not confirmed their involvement in the incident. Notably, Haniyeh was killed after he participated in the inauguration of Iranian President Masoud Pezeshkian. With this action, the criminal and terrorist Zionist regime prepared the ground for harsh punishment for itself and we consider it our duty to seek revenge for his blood as he was martyred in the territory of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Khamenei said in a statement on the assassination carried by state media.